Large neural networks trained for language recognition and generation have showed outstanding results in a variety of tasks in recent years. GPT-3 revealed that without considerable task-specific data or model parameter adjustment, huge language models may be used for few-shot learning and produce excellent results. To achieve state-of-the-art few-shot performance on a variety of tasks, recent LLMs such as GLAM, Lambda, Gopher, and Megatron Turing NLG have scaled model size, utilized sparsely activated modules, and trained on bigger datasets from more diverse sources. This brings me to today's sponsor, Skillshare, which couldn't be more of a perfect partnership due to its beginner-friendly artificial intelligence classes. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for aspiring developers and creatives. Explore new skills and deepen existing passions. AI models such as OpenAI's Glide can be used by anyone with a little experience in machine learning which is one of the many topics on Skillshare along with web development, search engine optimization, entrepreneurship and more. My personal favorite class and the one I recommend for making use of this video's topic is the Artificial Intelligence for Beginners, Tools to Learn Machine Learning, class by Alvin Wan which tells you everything you need to know about creating and then optimizing your models by understanding the importance of model complexity. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Skillshare's entire catalog of classes now offers subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese and German. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Whether you're a dabbler or a pro, a hobbyist or a master, you're creative. Discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. The first 1,000 people to use the link or my code AI News will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you all the amazing abilities new artificial intelligences are starting to have and what we can expect from them in the very near future. Pathways language model was proposed by Google researchers in a recent research report, POM. POM is a dense decoder-only transformer model with 540 billion parameters learnt with the Pathways system, allowing for fast training of a single model over several TPU v4 pods. POM was put through its paces on hundreds of language comprehension and creation tasks, and it was determined that it consistently outperformed state-of-the-art few-shot performance, in many cases by a substantial margin. POM was trained on a variety of datasets, including high-quality web publications, books, Wikipedia articles, debates, and GitHub code, in addition to English and multilingual datasets. A lossless vocabulary has been created, which preserves all white space, essential for coding, separates out of vocabulary Unicode characters into bytes, and divides integers into unique tokens, one for each number. POM shows groundbreaking abilities in a range of extremely difficult jobs. Some examples of language comprehension and generation, thinking, and coding issues are included below. POM was put to the test on 29 different natural language processing NLP, tasks in English. POM 540B outperformed previous large models on a few-shot basis on 28 of 29 tasks, including question-answering tasks, open-domain closed-book variant, close and sentence completion tasks, Winograd style tasks, in context reading comprehension tasks, common sense reasoning tasks, superglue tasks, and natural inference tasks. On several big bench tasks, POM demonstrates excellent natural language interpretation and generation skills. For example, the model can distinguish between cause and effect, understand conceptual combinations in certain situations, and even guess the movie from an emoji. Even though just 22% of the training corpus is non-English, POM performs well on multilingual NLP benchmarks, including translation, in addition to English NLP tasks. By combining model size with chain of thought prompting, POM exhibits breakthrough skills on reasoning tasks that require multi-step arithmetic or common-sense reasoning. Previous LLMs, such as Gopher, benefited less from the model size in terms of improving performance. On three arithmetic and two common-sense thinking datasets, POM 540B combined with chain-of-thought prompting performed well. 
Palm outperforms the previous top score of 55% achieved by fine-tuning the GPT-3175B model with a training set of 7,500 problems and combining it with an external calculator and verifier by solving 58% of the issues in GSM-8K, a benchmark of thousands of difficult grade school-level math questions, using 8-shot prompting. This new score is especially noteworthy since it approaches the 60% average of difficulties addressed by 9 to 12 year olds, who are the target demographic for the question set. Palm can even offer detailed explanations in cases when multi-step logical reasoning, global knowledge, and profound language understanding are required. It may, for example, provide high-quality responses to original jokes that aren't available on the internet. LLMs have also been shown to generalize well to coding tasks, including as generating code from a natural language description, text-to-code, translating code across languages, and correcting compilation errors. 1, 2, 3, 4. Code-to-code. Despite only having 5% code in the pre-training dataset, POM 540B performs well on both coding and natural language tasks in a single model. Its few-shot performance is incredible, since it is on par with the fine-tuned Codex 12B despite using 50 times less Python code in training. This finding backs with prior findings that larger models can be more sample-efficient than smaller models because they can more effectively transfer learning from multiple programming languages and plain language data. Palm's performance can be increased even more by fine-tuning it on the Palm Coder Python-only code dataset. With an 82.1% compile rate, Palmcoder 540B outperforms the previous state-of-the-art in a code repair assignment dubbed Deep Fix, where the aim is to alter originally defective C programs until they compile correctly. This enables for the remediation of more complex errors during the creation of software. In a recent study, many potential hazards associated with LLMs trained on web information were noted. Potentially harmful dangers must be examined and recorded using transparent artifacts like model cards and datasheets, which include information on intended usage and testing. A datasheet, model card, responsible AI benchmark results, and detailed bias and risk analysis of the dataset and model outputs are included in the work to achieve this goal. While the study contributes in the identification of some of the model's potential risks, Domain and task-specific analysis is necessary to properly calibrate, contextualize, and limit harmful consequences. POM trains a 540 billion parameter model effectively over two TPUv4 pods using a well-studied, well-established recipe of a dense decoder-only transformer model, proving the pathway system's scaling capacity to thousands of accelerator processors across two TPUv4 pods. By pushing the boundaries of model scale, POM provides breakthrough few-shot performance across a variety of natural language processing, reasoning, and coding issues. At the close of the conference, TED curator Chris Anderson and Greg Brockman, co-founder of the AI ethics research organization OpenAI, discussed the unforeseen effects of sophisticated machine learning algorithms. Brockman outlined a future in which humans act as moral advisors to artificial intelligence. Like a kid, we can teach the system the values we desire, he stated. It's a crucial but nuanced argument. I believe you do require the system in order to learn a world model. If you're teaching a youngster, they must understand the difference between good and bad. Anderson proposed that once the machines had been educated, some gatekeeping may be done. One of the most important aspects of keeping this thing on track is to choose the folks who look at the output of these unsupervised learning systems extremely carefully, he added. So, what is your opinion on this new artificial intelligence from Google and the abilities Google claims that it has? Do you think that the results aren't just picked from a large amount of mistakes or do you believe that its abilities scale well? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.